So, a boyfriend ends up dead in a suitcase. Drinking, games, having fun, and all the rest. And then a boyfriend ends up dead in a suitcase. Like, subscribe, ID. In the Discovery Channel, yes, ID in the Discovery Channel. The links are provided below. Get that Discovery Go app as well as an ID Go app. You might want to get those two things combined and make them into one. And I'm a Discovery Influencer. That's indeed a fact. My t-shirt should come flying <laughs> head first through the screen. But yes, suitcase games and death. A couple plays hide and go seek which results in a boyfriend dying in a suitcase. 42-year-old Sharon Boone of Florida has been charged with second-degree murder after zipping up the boyfriend in a suitcase, which caused his death. She, she left the boyfriend in a suitcase, an unattended suitcase at that, zipped all the way up. He was able to point outside as in move his fingers two fingers around that's creepy in itself to, to be stuck in a suitcase overnight you and your girlfriend are drinking playing games and whatever else happened right there, there's always more to the story and yet you die in the suitcase you you're, you're left in the suitcase overnight how what could the outcome of that be possibly on the death because there's no breathing space so the couple once again were both drunk before the boyfriend's death to be intoxicated is to say there's less breathing even than that right Being in that suitcase, intoxicated as well, right? That's, that leads to all type of issues. So Boone herself contacted police. And when authorities showed up to the premises where the couple were located, body of the boyfriend, George Torres, was found. Within the autopsy show, Torres had bruises around one of his eyes, scratches on his neck, and scratches on his neck and his back lip lacerations as well as various industry injuries i was about to say industries let me pause let me pause because this is going to constantly bug me this calendar yes yeah, so once again within the autopsy showed Torres had bruises around one of his eye scratches on his neck and his back and lip lacerations as well as various injuries I keep wanting to say industries right uh, again before the death of Torres Boone and Torres were drinking Chardonnay as they painted pictures and played with puzzles yeah, because see, couples that, you know, they have relationship issues, which was part of what happened with this. Neighbors, I'm going to get into that a little bit later. That can end in all type of a, a situation. If you are a couple and you got relationship issues going on, the worst thing to do is to get drunk especially if there's violence because you never know how it's going to end that that can lead in a person's demise you if it's, it's abusive relationship y'all playing these hide and go seek games you never know the intention especially of the one that was abused you never know her intention as what the outcome is going to be because to know that she was the one that was abused is to say it the situation i won't say worked in her favor no but it indeed went in the way that she wanted it to right you just you just don't know because if, if a woman or even a man is abused is to say there could be payback and that sort of thing as in the want to get back at you and that's what the story yeah basically is 
all this occurred the night before his body was found. Uh, so Boone hid in a shower. How the game took place to hide and go seek. The drunken hide and go seek. The couple had a history of playing these type of games, right? It was never stated how many times in their lifetime that they played these type of games, right? Whether this was the, the first or not, right? Uh, but Boone, she hid in a shower and then Torres, he supposedly thought it would be funny. Supposedly. No, I don't. I think something's not right with that. So supposedly he thought it would be funny if Boone zipped him up in the suitcase. That information is based upon the affidavit, right? Boone went to bed, leaving Torres to fend for himself within the suitcase. She said the next day she panicked. She, she panicked because she came to her senses that he might be still in the suitcase. Well, yeah, like, to go to bed drunk is to know you left somebody hanging to fend for themselves in the suitcase, right? So, Orange County Sheriff's Office found two videos of Boone taunting Torres. They, they found two videos of her taunting him while he was in the suitcase, enclosed in the suitcase, right? That she stuffed him. And they, they found two videos of him yelling, right? Ye yelling for help, saying that he needed help. He couldn't breathe and all the rest, right? The, the video showed that of her taunting him, saying, you know, certain things, certain things verbally to him, right? He kept st stating that he couldn't breathe. Boone continued saying, referencing that he cheated on her. Those were the two things I mentioned. Mentioned. That he cheated on her is why she was taunting him, right? That was picked up on video. And about him choking her. The, those are the two main reasons of the taunting as well as why she placed him in the suitcase. Or supposedly he thought it was funny to get in the suitcase right he he may have gotten into the suitcase right or maybe she helped place him in the suitcase right because to know that once again there was abuse there is to say well what really took place because to say well you taunt taunted the man is to say once again that was payback because she stated he choked her as well as he cheated on her but the choking part the abuse part you want to look at more than anything especially when death plays out right Boone stated she doesn't remember recording the videos of her taunting Torres in the suitcase I got to thinking about everything happens for a reason pertaining to unsolved mysteries you record him maybe she didn't maybe she wasn't really aware maybe she was maybe in this situation she wasn't how you so drunk you pull out your phone and you're recording right on video however that plays out some people do stuff and their intention ain't to put stuff on camera some people it is right i don't think she was really thinking maybe she was maybe she wasn't all that drunk like that to say why well, i'm gonna watch this video later how everybody records these days you never know her intention while she was recording it despite her saying that that wasn't her intention as she don't remember recording it right you never you have to question her intention was it in her was it her intention to watch the video later did she know and think that he was going to die in the suitcase is that the reason why she placed him in the suitcase was the intention going to play out of her watching the video later after he was dead? Did she know she was going to escape jail? Did she, was she even thinking that far? 
because some people some people think and go that far in thinking per, ter, pertaining to I'm able to think that far. Not every, and I say that in all my videos, not everybody thinks that far of where I'm going. To know everybody's walking around with a camera phone, as I say, sometimes it's not always the intention to record. It has become a, a habit of people just taking out their phone and recording just random things, not knowing death is going to play out later, or maybe they do, right? But most people don't have that intention in mind. Let me record because this is going to play out for later in court. This video is going to be used for me in court. Or against me in court you see what I'm saying cuz she have had that on her mind thinking thinking that far out knowing that that very same video was going to be used uh, in examination in, in the courtroom that's why you have to be careful with what you do but if abuse was there, the only the reason why I have to bring that part up the video and her intention of recording that is because even that from the beginning what came to my mind and my senses is even that could give her less jail time. Because if he was abusing her, choking her, besides cheating on her, but say he was very, very physically abusive towards her, and say she tried to kill him in a sense uh, to protect herself in the form of self-defense despite it wasn't self-defense maybe she wanted to put an end to all her misery of of uh, the abuse or maybe she was just real angry at the fact that she was cheating on but say she couldn't take the abuse anymore right even that could possibly give her less uh jail time and this situation is looking like it's not gonna happen right she might indeed face life right but I'm just saying, to have a video like that, you never know what the judge might be thinking. As in, what what side the judge might stand on with even that. Because if there was any witnesses that knew that she was getting her ass beat or he was beating on her, you see what I'm saying? Like, you might in fact want to have some video or something that covers you in that, even though you killed somebody. You have some video that can be used in court later to help get you off as in get, give you less time yeah because it's not right for her to say kill him in the way that she did right could have been her attention might not have been and yet once again that video that video is the most valuable thing out of everything it it, it completely is consider that if that was your situation dear viewer if you was being abused and that's you know you took it upon yourself to kill your abuser right women do that type of stuff all the time it, it, it's not a real real common thing and yet it is common right you you would yeah i'm thinking you, you would in fact get get less time pertaining to uh, even though the justice system can indeed be corrupt, right? But the, the neighbors of the couple stated they would hear the couple yelling. They would hear the couple shouting as well as they would hear the couple throwing and breaking things within the apartment. Because their relationship was violent, very violent, right? And that's not to say that he was the violent individual. She could have been just as much as violent as him, right? So oftentimes in society, it's perceived that the male is more violent than the female. Some of these women can be bat crazy. Yes, bat shit crazy, bat crazy, right? As well as much as men can be, right? But he was choking her and all the rest. And I stated that, right? So, it shows who was more of the aggressor, right? Boone, she faces life if convicted. She, she faces life if convicted of second degree murder. And Boone is held without bail. She's being, she's being held without bail. And she will face life. 
yeah because see they the system sometimes is good sometimes the system fails people but i will be more looking more in depth in that to that you know people have histories people have jail histories uh she might have more to that she might could have had some issues as in record jail record i'm thinking it it lays more on on his end yeah because he i, I get to thinking i was gonna say 50 years right that would still be life for her right that that still would be life for a woman that that age i was gonna say well you know 50 years because to know that she's 42 and you give her 50 something years she'll be like in her 90s so even that's like life right but say she wasn't abusive or anything like that say she wasn't the aggressor or anything like that i would think less time i say if he was really really beating on her right this she could have just been real angry i said that about him cheating on her but to know that the neighbors heard all that going on and all that breaking stuff and shattering stuff and the neighbors heard all that violence right is to say it points more so on his end right i can see her the most i will give her is probably 20 years 20 years 25 years is pushing it 20 years is about right to make her serve her time uh just enough to think pertaining to taking his life but the abuse even 15 knock it down some 15 years will be enough um, i'm saying yeah, some of these women don't really have violent tendencies or murderous tendencies right some of them are just trying to escape a situation some of them can get out of a situation some people feel they stuck and can't leave situations right i'm just saying 15 to 20 no more than 25 because it wasn't like it was a a crime of passion or anything like that something where you're just killing somebody just to, that that goes on as well as we know well let me I can't live without him or her, so let me blow their lights out or get rid of them or trash them or something like that. Now, that should be life in itself, right? That's something else that's beyond the point, right? But, yeah, with this situation, I, I would say about 15, 15 years. Anytime it's a couple on a, a, a relationship or something like that and it ends and it's a situation like this yeah 15 to the max is the most that's good enough time to sit in jail and think maybe i shouldn't have took the chance of getting with that person in the first place right sometimes you never know who you're ending up with till you find out later right but that gives you that type of sentence 15 years 10 to 15 years is long enough for you to sit in jail and think right about your choices what right or wrong choices to make what choices not to make right and gives you enough time to to serve uh as in the life that you've taken right as well as time enough to give you time to change your thinking processes as well as your habits and all the rest as in decisions that you make i said that like two or three times right that's enough to change a person right but to be to to sit in life like that that's a bit much it, it's a it's a bit it's a bit much but especially yeah if if you weren't really an abuser or like that it's a it's a it's a bit much because it's almost like you're paying twice you paying for the fact that you were abused as well as now you're paying for the life that you taken because you were abused a situation you tried to leave right that's a bit yeah that, that's a bit much it's a bit extreme so 
We're on investigationdiscovery.com. The ID logo stands in the far left corner right here, live now on the case with Paula. On the case with Paula. New episodes. New episodes to gain access. This is indeed Pad Lockdown. You're going to provide who you're subscribed to to gain access to that. To preview. Let me scroll down. Line. To preview, to gain access, audio, visual, preview is a click the play button and you would in fact be directed there. Yes, not like the choir or the rehearse, right? But you will gain access to that to gain access to that sort of thing. Audio, visual, preview. Uh, unlock series. Recommended for you. Shouts out to Lieutenant Joe Kenda as well as Paula. ID Go original series. Some people's, if you really pay attention close to people's uh, mug shots, photos, and all the rest, it can tell you a lot about a person. When you look at Sarah Boone and her photo, let me say this first. To receive a newsletter from Investigation Discovery is to type your email address in it and click next. Type your email address in and click next. Right within here. Uh, some people's mug shots, it, it can tell you a lot about a person. As in what their home life was like and all the rest. Looking at people's mug shots, right? Because even that's identification, which is the point. But emotion, emotional expression within mug shots. Like Sarah Boone, when you look at her face, some people have a grimace. Some people have an unhappy look. Some people with her, she has almost a, not a sadness. Sort of like a, a confused yeah, the, the mug shot that was above my head. Like an unsettling, upset feeling. Like, I can't believe I got myself in this situation. Reading into the mug shots of people, I was trying to wait to see if it was going to roll back around again. So that you, the viewer, can viewers can see. That's one thing I pay attention to is, is, yeah, that the facial expressions and mug shots, it can tell you a lot about an individual. It, it just can, as in even the home life of a person. To know that she was looking all confused like that in her mug shot, because see, even a person, you know, even oftentimes after murder, and the person goes to jail to, to get the mug shot. And all, oftentimes, I said that before, they look real angry, heated, hot-headed, and all the rest. Because such and such, they done killed such and such, right? And now they happy that the person died, but at the same time, they still fuming. They can't get over whatever, so they, they still fuming, right? In the mug shot, right? But to look at her mug shot and see... The look on her on her face is like I cannot believe I got myself in this situation with this individual in which I did. You have to know to understand. I think that's all to be said about that. Yeah, because some people they take chances in these relationships as in they know some sometimes people get in relationships, right? With people and they know it's over with as soon as they start as in some people know oh this this ain't gonna this ain't gonna pan out too good right as an ending result they can just feel it which is why you have intuition the human heart human soul human spirit if you believe in that sort of thing know oftentimes what's to come as in there's a feeling well Maybe this was a bad decision. Maybe I shouldn't have got into this, right? I'm able to see where this might play out. 
Yet some people put their life on the line by trying to still continue to like or love somebody that they're with as in to leave hope as the end result. Well, let me just hope maybe he'll change, maybe she'll change. And then uh, the further they go, they notice the situation is becoming more and more worse. That could have been the situation. You're like, well, you know, he's capable of changing or I'm capable of changing him, right? Or you never know. Maybe she just thought once again that she was stuck or something. You don't know. So I think that's all to be said for now, dear viewers. May you enjoy your day. I will indeed enjoy mine. And I'm gone. <laughs>